not a mystery. People think it's a mystery. The human voice, any human voice, has got a range of two and a half octaves and is designed for singing. We all use it to speak. It uses a very, very small part of our voice, but it's designed for singing. And as soon as you start using for that, using it for that, you just discover an incredible new resource. <laughs> My name is Barry Cheeseman and I work in the Kirker office in London. My job is to create and plan and organise all our music and art holidays and each year we have a music cruise on board the Black Watch where I am now. This year there was a new dimension to the music cruise. We had our own onboard Kirker choir. We wrote to everybody who booked the holiday and asked them if they wanted to participate in a choir. We didn't know what levels of singing they had, we didn't know what their experience was. None of the choir knew each other. But when they joined in Dover a week ago, we started a programme of rehearsals with a choir master, Christopher Monckton, and a famous opera singer, Dame Josephine Barstow. Over the next week, those two worked tirelessly to encourage and develop the choir. Now, the result of that is three, four. <laughs> yay! Yay! <coughs> so the first move is out of tune, right? Because you went, yay! You didn't. <laughs> yay! The choir prepared for two big choral pieces. One was by Buxtehude and the other was by Henry Purcell. Fifty people came together who didn't know each other but prepared for a performance at Christian Sound Cathedral and all the rehearsals and all the work that went into this. Uh, try and get that feeling into it without me mm. crucifying myself. Like Leonard Bernstein. Have light in this and have light in it, in, in the sound that you make and in the rhythm. There was a wonderful lady uh, years ago at um, the Northern School of Music and she always used to say, she used to tell people to how to perform. She was, you know, telling them about being an actress. And she, she always used to say, elation, dejection. <laughs> We've asked several members of the choir what the whole experience meant to them. We've always enjoyed singing and when we learned that there was an opportunity to come abroad, sing, meet wonderful people, we jumped at the chance. So I couldn't wait when I heard about this cruise uh, to sign up straight away. When Anne told me about this, it just looked so wonderful. I didn't have the, the, the knowledge that she had of the various musicians and so on, but, but uh, I've now met a few and it's, it's been lovely, I mean really nice. Yeah, well I think it, I have to give Christopher Moncton uh, a lot of uh, credit because he, he's very approachable and he's very amusing as well. And all that sort of encouragement uh, has helped massively. Oh, let's hit the last one over there, Sam. Oh, no. Because I've thought in the past, well, I could make a noise like an operatic soprano, but I'm not sure it's the right noise to make. And then he said, well, you've got a nice voice, you know, you just need a bit more welly behind it. And Dame Josephine as well. The first morning she said, um, you've got to enjoy this. You know, you've got to come away from the singing feeling that your life's better, that you've given people something to take away. And um, I thought, well, I understand that. Have a lovely time wherever you're going. <laughs> the the uh, extraordinary thing is that you're, you've got um, a group of people who the only thing they've got in common is that they've decided to come on this cruise. Um, and they come from everywhere and they they have different talents, they've done different things with their lives, they are doing different things with their lives, and but they've come together with the idea of actually making music together on this cruise. And I think it's an absolutely wonderful and, and really creative process and people have thoroughly enjoyed it. But it's fantastic to use that other half of my brain, you know, the creative side, and I will now go back to practices in Shrewsbury and maybe volunteer to do solos, which I wouldn't have done before. It's wonderful to learn it from scratch, uh, as it were. So we've um, created this music together as a group. Mm. It helped us tremendously 
to improve really our, our singing technique and um, above all our breathing and it's been such a wonderful uh, and a creative experience uh, which I shall never forget and treasure always. Choir master Christopher Monckton and Dame Josephine Barstow, those two work tirelessly to encourage and develop the choir and give them the confidence to perform a concert in Christian Sound Cathedral in front of a large audience. I think it was the cathedral itself it was just so lovely. Every moment, every bit of it was just perfect. And this wonderful ceiling and the height that gave everything that we sang uh, a resonator, you know, and it was lovely. <laughs> The most inspirational thing was seeing the choir start with almost zero confidence that they would be able to perform and how they developed each and every rehearsal which culminated into this wonderful performance they gave at the cathedral. How people who hadn't even sung solos before stood forward and sang difficult music on their own in front of colleagues that they hadn't even met a couple of days earlier. And how was your concert experience today? Well, as you can hear, I'm struggling with my throat, which is very uncharacteristic and terribly disappointing. I wish I could have acquitted myself better, but I thoroughly enjoyed singing, nevertheless. Yes. There's yeah. a doctor here today who has such... She's, you know, she's just... She sings in choruses, but um, she's, she's done a really good job of singing a soprano solo today and she wants she wants proof that she's done it she's a she's a <laughs> gp and she's going to have a loop from her her uh, waiting room to the to the dvd or whatever it is <laughs> but i've never done a solo no no i knew i could make a big noise but i wasn't sure i could do it on my nice own Thank you, thank you. I think it was fun. I don't think they would have stayed doing it if they hadn't been fun, because they were, after all, on holiday. I think the thing that really matters is getting on with other people, meeting them, singing with them, learning something new uh, as well. It's been a, quite a challenge at times, but it's been very rewarding. Have you made friends in the choir? Made friends. Yes, yes, yes. I, th I think we, I think we have. Yes, 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 yes. yes. indeed we have. So you see, that's that's something else that we will treasure when we get back and, and look back on this. Mm -hmm. Yes, we made a lot of good friends. So when I initially came, I was a little bit reserved. Thought I don't really want to get involved. But we've just all gelled together. It's been amazing. So it's been a huge um, team building event, really. We have had an amazing laugh. It's been wonderful. I mean, the, the the enthusiasm of everybody and the um, desire to go from wherever to somewhere really rather, you know, better has been fantastic, and I've really enjoyed it. And uh, the it's just one gets carried along by the energy of the people who are who are here to work. It's great. Well, they're the surprises are the voices because you start with people who either have never sung or have sung very timidly at the back of a choir somewhere and can't read music. But once you start um, working with them, out of the crowd, these voices emerge and people discover that they've got this incredible voice. And there's one, there's one girl in the front row, in fact, of the Sopranos, who's made one noise in the course of this uh, whole episode that indicates that she has also got a really beautiful voice that she didn't know was there. Um, so that's always, you know, that's, yes. a, that's a reward in a sense, it's wonderful. I think the combination of having professional quartets, professional pianists, professional conductors, whatever, in charge has been wonderful. I'd just like to say thank you, really, because it's, it's been, you know, I've been preparing for this for perhaps nine months. Times dreading it, thinking, oh dear, you know, am I going to enjoy this? But the, the actual experience has outweighed all that. It's just been fantastic. So thank you.